Uh, uh, hello, everybody. Nick Devil Hunter here and today. Uh, we're doing another FNAF Funko Action Freaking Toy Review. Oh, sorry, you guys. Sorry, but anyway, I didn't. I didn't let you guys know on this, but good thing you're being surprised unexpectedly, because it's one of the most recently Funko FNAF Action Figures that have been released. And it's from FNAF AR this time. It is Freddy Frostbear. Now, if you guys don't know who Freddy Frostbear is, he's a character from FNAF AR. He was the first character. I mean, he's not a skin, but he's just a character himself. But in my opinion, I think that he could be a really good skin for Golden Freddy. But, but even though Golden Freddy wasn't even in the game at that time. This was in 2019 when it came out, December 2019. He was just a by himself character. He's not really a skin for any other specific character. Like, you know, he's not he's not a skin for Freddy or Going Freddy, because Going Freddy wasn't even in the game. Okay, but anyway, let's get on with the review. Now, this is one of the newest action figures. This action figure came out, I want to say, it came out two months ago. And I have to say, it looks pretty cool, but it's a Walmart exclusive. Oh, sorry about that. Um, but it's a Walmart exclusive. So you, so you can only get it at Walmart, or you can get it online. But as always, I get this version from Amazon. I don't go to the store. So I, mean, I will if I have time to, but we don't because of the COVID and stuff. But anyway... Let's get on with the review. Now, I gotta say, they really did a great job with his top hat and his bow tie, which I have to say is a... I want to say it's a 10 out of 10, but I say it's a 9. I don't know why, but his hat looks off. His hat really looks completely accurate to his in-game counterpart. So, I'm going to say that... I'm, I say his hat is 10 out of 10. But his bow tie is really on point, but I don't know why I don't put that as a 10 out of 10. I don't know why. I'm just, maybe I'm just being stupid. Now, but the action figure overall itself, I want to say it's a 7.5 out of 10. Now, the reason why I say that is because, well, the biggest problem that ruins this action figure is the way that he is, uh... What's that one world where you can see through things? Yes, that. That's the problem. Now, now Freddy Frostbear in the game, he's not like that at all. He's completely blue to the point where you can't see him. And the cracks that they did on him, the cracks that they put in him, it doesn't look that good because it really ruins it because the, the cracks on his body are really out of detail. And it just doesn't look... It just doesn't look too good. Now, let's go on to the icicle in his hand. The icicle, it doesn't look that bad, but as all, but same thing, it is way out of detail because it has way more text. It has way more detail than this because I think they did a little bit of a lazy job with the icicle in his hand. And the fact that you can see through him I kind of, I mean, I think it's okay, but it kind of really ruins the action figure itself. It kind of ruins it. But what I'm really surprised, what I'm really, really surprised at is that this is the only Freddy action figure that doesn't have, they actually got it right. They actually didn't put top teeth. That's because he doesn't have top teeth. Now, I've mentioned this in my previous review videos. Like, same thing with the FNAF 1 action figure crew um, Funko video. I said that Freddy doesn't have top teeth, but on the action figures... I mean, yeah. Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and Golden Freddy, they all don't have top teeth except for Foxy. But on the uh, action figures, they, they put top teeth anyway. But on here, he doesn't have top teeth at all. Look, he just has bottom teeth. There was no top teeth whatsoever. There was no top teeth. Which is finally they got it right. You can barely see the freckles. Barely. Hold on. Wait, let's see. Right there. You can barely see them. Now, they got his nose. I really love the way they did his nose. Yeah, I really love. I really like the way they did the little water dripplings on his ears. 
and everything. I really, I really love the feet. That they did, they did a great job on it. But there's only one more problem. It's his eyes. Gosh, his eyes are not that big. His eyes. I'm not talking about the eyeballs himself. I'm talking about his uh. His irises, like his irises are like huge. They're, they're not that big. And you can see the joints through his arms and everything. He looks so cool. But compared to the in-game Makana part, I'd say he's a 7.5 out of 10. I'll say that he's a a B minus or a regular B. I don't know. But he's still... But the reason why he's not lower than that is because the figure itself, it's pretty good. It's just that they did a bad job on the craft. They did a bad job. You should not be able to see through him. That's the worst part so far, in my opinion. Oh, yeah, and one more thing. This is just my action figure. But his head is wobbly. His head is wobbly. Like, same thing with the Rockstar Foxy action figure review that I did on. He didn't have a wobbly. Wait, did he? I don't remember. But he had wobbly uh, joints. Like, his waist was really loose and it wasn't like stiff it wasn't stiff at all like it was really easy to move his waist which was very difficult for me to pose him and stuff like that but on him his icicle was pretty cool and yeah so that's about pretty much it oh yeah and one more thing i, I want to say his colors his colors they did a great job with his color his sorry about that that's the but they did a great job with the colors that are on point. I'm really happy that they did the co The colors are really on point. It's just that, yeah, the fact that you can see through him is that it makes it a little bit less, I don't know, not disappointing. I don't want to go that far, but, but still, look, his head is wobbly. You can see that his head is wobbly. It should not be wobbly at all. And his feet are white. I'm not sure... If his feet are originally white, like in the game. But overall, it's pretty cool. I really love the part where they put white on his feet. It's pretty sick. Now, it will look even better if they put, like, a dark blue like his hat. That would look awesome. But, yeah, anyway, overall, I'll say this uh, action figure is 7 out of 10. 7 and a half out of 10. It's so cool. These are all the problems. Irises are too big. You can see through him. The cracks are very low detailed. And his icicle is very low detailed. And yeah, those are all the problems. But anyway, guys. I, but, uh, I just got him today. Okay, I'm finna go. I'm, now, I might, but just in case if I do sound a little bit different, that's because I'm sick. And I've had a cold for all, for all day since last night. And I haven't been feeling a little bit, but I'm, I'm getting a little bit better. I took some medicine. But anyway, guys, I'm finna go. Uh, if you like the video, click the like button and subscribe and turn on all notifications. That way you don't miss out on the video when I every time I upload it. But anyway, guys, I'm going to see you guys later. Bye-bye.